Like I had always been interested in photography and how it had the ability to represent reality. And video is just sort of an extension of that, but it's reality and time. And I think there's a lot of potential in that medium to sort of stretch and extrapolate what reality and time can be. My name is Nika Kaiser. I am a visual artist from Tucson, Arizona. I work in various mediums, but primarily photography, video, and in installations. I'm doing a tech run through of the whole program for the show that I'm having on Wednesday. I've curated a program of work um, surrounding the premiere of this piece that I've done. And it's also just a chance for me to like force a bunch of people to sit down and watch all of my favorite things. I studied primarily photography um, in my undergraduate studies at the University of Arizona. I took a performance art class uh, with Ken Shore and I made my first video piece in that class. And then when I went off to graduate school, I shifted towards making more video-based work. One of my earlier works, um, Cicada Cadence, which I made during graduate school, there's a scene in that video that I shot in Tucson in Barrio Viejo on this street that I lived on. That particular scene was me trying to get at these sort of layers of what my individual identity is comprised of, being from this environment and being informed by all of these cultural experiences that are so specific to being in a space like Tucson. That has been Mexico, that it has been an indigenous space and is so reliant upon the experience of being in this landscape. Hi guys. Three species of ancient birds survived. They escaped. Three species. And in just a few million years, we had vultures and hawks. And shortly after that, we had 10,000 species of birds. I'm the graphic technician um, at the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. My art practice often involves being in front of the computer and editing. One thing that I really love about my day job is that there's a physical element to it. I get to use tools and to construct things and have some physicality. I also get to implement some form of creativity, but it's not one that overlaps specifically with my art practice. But I get to draw a lot of inspiration from what that museum represents, which is, you know, the landscape, the animals, and the plants of the desert. You're gonna be the star. <laughs> this is the microcinema of Tucson, Exploded View Microcinema, and uh, we're doing a show with Nika Kaiser. We've shown Nika's work for the past three years. To be able to have her do a complete show that she curates with brand new work is really special. She does more personal work that's not, you know, easily saleable. Um, but as part of an art practice and, you know, a contemporary art practice, video making is completely relevant. And just cultivating um, a scene in Tucson that can respect the people who are doing that work and hopefully encourage more people to do it is, is what we're interested in. There is a crossover, you know, the crossover and she's been able to, you know, engage the music community through making music videos. She's 
open to a lot of aesthetics, from stop motion animation to um, more scripted narrative-esque work or psychodrama, we might say, and also just more sort of like landscape portraiture as well. She did her best for you. got a poetic interpretation in terms of um, her, her visual syntax and the way she edits the work. When I'm making my own work, the process is very similar to collage in a lot of ways. Um, as opposed to maybe creating like a linear narrative or storyline. <laughs> I made that piece when I was at an artist residency in Woodstock, New York last summer. Previously, I had made a lot of work um, that was centered around the landscape of the desert. And I wanted to visit another environment. I'm trying to push past the, pa the passive experience of what video has become. Doing things like my, you know, three channel video at Exploded View, that's a very simplistic way of trying to push beyond what that passive experience is. It being in a space, it being more physical and more movement based in the way that you experience it. I think it's difficult for me to put the work out there. The work only exists when people see it. And so I'm just kind of bringing it to life. This is an outlet for me in which to sort of express or reflect upon how I'm experiencing the world. And it's the voice that I feel I have or I've had for a long time. And so I'm constantly trying to exercise that voice and expand it to be more communicative and be able to relay what I'm seeing that already exists. <laughs>